Hi everyone, um, another video about Quarkus and AI, but this time a really concrete use case. Um, you will see it's pretty cool. And again, we're going we're going to use a, a great combination of tech. Um, in the previous videos, I show you how to use Quarkus, of course, but also Olama to get your models running locally and uh, launching for J to, uh, to to do all the difficult stuff for us. Um, this time I'm adding two new components. I'm adding some Kafka because we will be reading something from a topic and apply some AI on it. And then based on the results, send that to different topics. And yesterday I was at the Java user group, um, here in the South of France and Yassine and Laurent from Makeworks, awesome project, check it out, uh, showed me a lot of great stuff. And that gave me the idea to, to add some Makeworks because, um, what I wanted to do is to have some automation of, instead of me typing reviews on a, a Kafka topic. Okay. I would like when you are in dev mode that some sample mocks reviews just float flow in on the, on the, on the topic. Okay. What are we going to do exactly? Let me show you that. I got here a diagram it's pretty simple. So imagine, um, you are a retail company for instance, and people, customers can leave reviews. Those reviews comes on an, uh, Kafka topic coming review, which are picked up my, by my Quarkus app here. I use an AI service to, uh, ask the LLM if this review is positive or negative. I do some sentiment analysis and depending on the result, I'd send that to the positive review topic or the negative review topic. Okay. Let's dive into the code. Um, all the code is on GitHub, by the way, it will be in the description and you uh, can run all the thing locally. Let's go. So it's pretty simple. The code, let's start with a triage service. By the way, this is based on one heavily based on one of the samples that are provided by the Quarkus Lang chain for J extension. There's a samples folder with a lot of examples. And one of the example is the triage, the review triage. And I uh, more or less took the same code. And I just added some few stuff around it. Uh, but anyway, the triage service. So I got here, uh, I inject an AI service. We will come back on this a uh, bit later, but then I have two, uh, emitters. So that is to write to a topic. So in my case, I will need to write or to the negative review topic or to the positive review topic. Okay. And then, uh, I need to uh, listen to the incoming topic, the incoming reviews reviews in here. So I just annotate that the method with death and this method will be called whenever there's a new record on this topic. Okay. I have to make it blocking for now because of some reasons on the long chain for J side, but that should change soon, but it's not really a problem for here. So anyway, I got my review coming in. Okay. Um, I can show you what a review, uh, oh no, sorry. A review is just a record here. It's just containing a string, the review itself. Okay. Then I called my AI service that sent me back a triaged review. So a triage review is also a record. It got the evaluation positive or negative. The review, the original view and a reply from the LLM to say, Hey, sorry that you don't like the, our product or thank you so much for the great review, etc." Anyway, that will be done automatically by the LLM for me. Um, and then of course, depending on the evaluation, I send it to the correct topic. Cool. So, um, the AI service, so it's an interface, of course, I registered that as an AI service and here, this, the, the prompts are really important. So the system message, I say, you are a bot checking if the review is positive or negative, you will always answer with a J, JSON document and only this JSON document. This way I make sure that the LLM just return a JSON document. Otherwise, if you are not specific, it will just add some stuff. Uh, not always, but most of the time I, in the user message, I explain again, what he needs to do. I give some examples, really important to give some examples. Okay. And then I described how the JSON document must look like for each key. I see, I, I tell him what it should contain. And uh, of course I pass here the review that comes in and here I can use this, uh, it's templating here. So I get this from here. 
And that's it. Uh, because Olama can be a bit slow for the first request, then it's really fast. But at the first request, it can be a bit slow. I uh, use some fault tolerance here with using the fault tolerance uh, extension. So I give it a, a big time out. Cool, that's that's it for the code, okay? Um, if you run it, that's it. Uh, you will need to enter yourself some um, records on the incoming topic. You can do that really easily by going to the dev UI. You have the, the Kafka client and you choose the topic and you write your messages. But I wanted to make that even more, um, more smooth, you know? Just if you run in dev mode, I want to have some smock mock uh, reviews that just comes into the topic. And that is where MakeWorks comes into the play. So uh, MakeWorks is there to help you to mock uh, REST endpoints, but not only, it is uh, also a support for async APIs uh, like, uh, like Kafka, okay? You can do a lot of stuff with uh, MakeWorks. I, I'm just doing a small thing here today with it. Um, Look at this. I just added the MakeWorks Quarkus extension because there's an extension and, and that's it. And then in my resources, I added a file. I created a file called review events async API. And it is just an async API contract. Okay. Pretty easy to, to write. Okay. You, you can find some examples, but basically I um, describe my channels, which are topics because async API is really agnostic of the underlying technology. By default, it will choose a Kafka with MakeRox, but a channel is a topic. So I describe here my topic, uh, the frequency, stuff like that. And I say it will contain uh, messages, which is a review event. A review event, I describe the payload, okay? There's just one field required. That's the review, you remember from my record. And then I can give examples, okay? And that's really cool. Ignore here the, the, the he says it's not allowed, but it's still working. So anyway, I can give here some uh, records that will be sent. I love your product because your product, because of your product, my business is going down, okay? Uh, anyway, those examples will be picked up by Micwax and will be used as, as mocks to be sent on the incoming topic. Okay, so that's super cool. Um, and the, the other cool thing is I have just to drop this file in the resources and by uh, by default, MakeWorx will read that and create all the magic for me. I just have to create this, this file and add the extension, the MakeWorx extension. So let's uh, start our application. That will start a, a few containers, uh, a, a Red Panda container, so a Kafka container, and also a MakeWorx container. And um, when MakeWorx is ready, it should start sending those mocks here on my topic, okay? Um, let me see, it should start any minute. There we go. So the first one, I can see here that the first message arrived on the topic. So now the LLM is uh, deciding if it's a positive message or a negative. Here it's positive, okay? Uh, doot, 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 doot. And then let me just show you the, the, the properties. I'm using uh, Olama, but uh, I'm using the Mistral uh, model. Uh, that's, I got the best result with this model for this use case, okay? But again, if you're using Olama, you can easily switch to different uh, models. Uh, and the other thing, yeah. So here I'm still having a timeout, but don't worry, it will reconcile, uh, re reconcile at one point. Um, Makewox has created a special topic for me, okay? Uh, and that's why I, I use here the dev mode. In the dev mode, I want to use the topic that has been created by uh, Makewox, okay? And in a real situation, I want to use my real, uh, my real topic. Uh, now let me show you that it's actually working. So let me go to dev UI and the dev UI. Uh, doot, 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 doot. Let me see. Why don't I have it here? <laughs> uh, I, I had prepared that, but oh yeah, there it is. Uh, doot. Let me go here. Let me open the dev UI. Okay, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I can go to my topics here and uh, you can see here, I got here my uh, free topics, my incoming review. Okay, so those are all the messages that are coming in. 
and the, 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 the reviews. Okay. So it still needs to catch up. Okay. Uh, because it has um, now evaluated nine reviews and there are already 44, but uh, that shouldn't be a problem. If I come back here, you can see at one point it will catch up. That's also why I'm waiting for uh, Langchain 4J to be become non-blocking because that will be way uh, faster, I believe. But if I go here to positive review, I can see here that I got only my positive reviews. And if I go to my negative reviews, I got only my negative reviews. And here I got, of course, all my reviews. Okay. You can see here, review. And here we can also see that uh, Langchain for j and LLM is creating for me a new object here, uh, a new structure. Evaluation positive. I love your product. Reply. We are thrilled to hear that you love our product. Your positive feedback motivates us to continue providing the best possible experience for our customers. Awesome. Okay. So um, that's it. Okay. Here is it's, it's just continuing. Um, oh yeah. Maybe I can show you the. Let me just show you the Mac rocks console um, extension. So where is Microx? Am I blind? I'm probably, oh, there it is. And uh, from here, I can uh, access the Microx UI. That's super cool. If I go to API services, I can see here my review event. That is just from the contract, the, the, the YAML file, okay? And if I go here, I got just one, uh, one operation, the incoming review, and I got here my four mocks. Okay, that are my examples. Yeah, that's it. Uh, let me go back here. Um, it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, I will share the, the repo with you. So if you have Olama running, as you can see here, uh, you can see that I get Olama running and you have a Mistral model. Okay, if you don't have it, you just do Olama pill Mistral. Okay, and then you, you fork this project, you do MVN quark is dev, and you will just have exactly the same thing as I just show you all locally. That's it for me. Thank you. Bye-bye.